Hey! I'm back. Temporarily. For the Booktubeathon. Are we excited about the Booktubeathon, guys? Because I'm so excited about it. I have three cats now. Uno, dos, tres. Luna! Luna's the newest one. Look at her! Look at she's so cute! Sorry. Like I said, temporarily back for the Booktubeathon. Super duper excited about this. There's a kid outside. I hope you can't see me. Um, yeah, so the Booktubeathon has been announced. It is July 18th through the next weekend, the 24th, possibly. I'll have it here. And Ariel Bissett, who runs the Booktubeathon, has posted all the challenges so we can do our TBRs, which is what, as you can tell, if you can read, is this video. I want to show you my to be read file for the Booktubeathon. I think I can do it all. I am working full time this summer, but I mean, that means I have time in the morning and night to read, so as long as I don't get distracted by Gilmore Girls, I should be fine. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get to the books. First challenge is to read a book with yellow on the cover and I have picked Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. This, or technically by Newt Scamander. Um, this is green with goldish yellow on the cover and all this back here. I think it counts. The next challenge is to read a book only after sunset and I have picked Kiss Off, Poems to Set You Free by Mary D. Esselman and Elizabeth Ash Velez. Looks like this. I have been really into poetry books lately, starting with Milk and Honey by Ruby Kaur, which was just eye-opening and great. So I've been getting a bunch of poetry books, and these are the perfect things to read for a readathon because you can fly through them. Um, these are obviously about love and breakups, and I am just feeling it, so I am going to read this only at night. The next challenge is to read a book you discovered through Booktube, and I am going to read What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This, this is a cheat. I mean, I heard of The Boy Next Door through Booktube, but I already read that, and I guess it's the same author, so I'm counting it. And I have seen people, like, haul this on Booktube before, so it counts. Okay? <laughs> The next book is a reread, and it's a read a book by your favorite author. I don't have any unread books or on my TBR pile by my favorite authors, but I have been wanting to reread this for a while, and that is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This is one of my favorite books. I read it all the time, and I haven't and I haven't read it in quite a few years now, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I'm going to read only Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, or if I should also read Through the Looking Glass, but we will see. I'm also using this book for the next challenge, which is a, a book-to-movie adaptation. I don't know if Through the Looking Glass comes out this month. I don't think it does, so I'll probably end up watching the giant up version of Alice in Wonderland, because I like that one. <laughs> This next book is also a reread, but also has been a few years, and is for the challenge, read a book that is older than you. And, and I picked Mouse by Art Spiegelman. This is a graphic novel account of his father's time in Auschwitz. I read this when I was a freshman in college, so it's been quite a few years. And I think it was original. when was this originally published? The original copyright is 1973, so it's definitely older than me. And I might read both one and two, or just one. We will see six if I read both of the mouse books. So my seventh book would be Love and Misadventure by Lang Lee. This is also a book of poetry. Um, and yeah, like I said, books of poetry are something I'm really into right now. And they're really quick reads, especially if you just sit down and read them all one by one. Obviously, it's going to change depending on my mood. I know. I am also currently reading a few things. That book is A Court of Thorns and... Nope. It is A Court of Mist and Fury. This is the second time I'm reading it this month, or this last couple of weeks. I read it right when it came out, and I just read reading it again because I'm obsessed. Also, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I have been reading Harry Potter out loud to my boyfriends at night. We started with the first book because that came out in the illustrated edition uh, last fall, and we've been continuing. We are now 
almost more than halfway through of the fifth book. Yes, I know my copy is Seen Better Days. But so I'll also be reading this during the booktube-a-thon just to get a little bit of pages there. Um, but this is slow progress. We read about half a chapter a night, so. And finally, the other book I have been reading on and off for the last few months is Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. I am on that Hamilton train. I am not getting off this Hamilton train for a while. I am feeling this. Look at it. Look at it. Also, I'm seeing Hamilton in Chicago in December. I'm so freaking excited. So excited. That is my booktube on TBR. I'm excited to do the challenges and daily wrap-ups, hopefully, maybe, and participating on Twitter and Instagram, which I will link down below for you if you'd like to follow me. I don't post on Twitter a lot, but I Instagram almost daily, and I'd love it if you checked it out. Shameless self-promo. I'm gonna get a kitten for you for that. Look at her! She little! Look at Wait, Luna! Her name is Luna, like it, Luna Lovegood, we call her Looney, because we're mean. Look at her. She's so little. Ooh. <laughs> right in the mouth. You're so little. She's not having this. Okay, well I'm going to go put my books away and then read A Court of Mist and Fury because Face Sand is real and I'm living for it. Let me know if you guys did TBR videos or what you're reading. Let me know if you've read A Court of Mist and Fury so we can fangirl because necessary. And give this a like if you liked it for booktube videos. I will see you soon. Bye!